The Blue Can Curbside Recycling Program is now in its fifth year in Washington County. At the time it was implemented, there was a 60-day period for residents to opt out if they didn't want the recycling service. At the time, several residents didn't know about the opt-out choice, and in some cities it was mandatory. Um, and it was actually different in, in many of the different cities. This time we've tried to make it uniform throughout the county to kind of simplify the process um, as we move forward. We want people to know that they have a choice. Now that the Washington County Solid Waste District has entered into a new 10-year contract with Republic Services to pick up blue cans, they are giving residents a 90-day opportunity to opt out if they wish. It's September 1st and it goes until November 30th. At St. George City, we will go until November 30th at midnight. In St. George, they can also opt out by calling a designated phone number, which has been set up specifically for the opt-out time frame. St. George Blue Cam, this is Aubrey. How can I help you? They can call in and it goes to a dedicated phone number that's, that's serviced 24-7 that they can call in and they can ha have them assist in that opt-out program or if it's more convenient, they can go online at suctd.org slash utilities and then fill that form out on, on that. All residents in the county can go online to bluecan.org and click on their city's link, which will send them to an application to opt out. However, those who don't take action by November 30th will be considered part of the program and will see an increase in the amount they currently pay for the curbside recycling program. First year, which will start February 1st of 2021, the contract will kick in at $5.84. Each year, after that, the contract of the districts has a 2.5% increase in, built into it. The three-tier program is based upon participation from residents in all cities. The first tier is if we have over 51% of our customers that, that continue to stay in the program, then the first year of, of the rate will be $5.84. If it goes to a second tier, which is between 51% down to 41% of participants, the first year rate will be $6.28. And then if it goes lower than that, as far as participants, from 41% down to 34%, then the first year price is $6.84. So you can see how the prices change based upon the participation. The contract will extend for the full 10 years. Residents can only opt out for this one time. If a person moves, the owner of the new home will automatically assume the program. If you move, you can keep your opt out with you. There is also a hardship opt out in the program if needed. Anyone who wants to opt back in can call and be added at any time. And if after three years there isn't enough participation in the curbside recycling, the district will deem it not cost effective and drop off the recycling program altogether. The curbside recycling service would stop. Uh, we would stop billing our customers for that pickup service and then they would be charged a 25 cent increase on their garbage at that point. If people do choose to opt out, it doesn't mean they can't recycle, it just won't be as convenient as curbside. You're paying for the district to come to your home and pick up the blue can curbside and take it to the, the transition station for that to take place. The recycling service allows for Republic to pick up the blue can materials where they are taken to a special holding site. After it's unloaded, it's picked up again and compacted into trailers to be hauled to Las Vegas for the recycling process. In the contract of the district, it actually specifies that, that the recycling material has to go to Las Vegas. And until at such point, it doesn't make financially sense, the district and Republic Service can both come together and determine that it, it is not feasible to make that happen. And everything that goes into that blue can goes through the recycling process, goes through the sorting. Um, there, are, there is a percentage of that that can't be recycled, whether they're not informed on the right things to put in um, to the 
the blue can or uh, something is just too saturated, like pizza boxes are too saturated. The Blue Can website explains what items can be recycled, as well as the values of recycling, including the life of the landfill. The very first year that the district implemented the recycling program, it reduced about two million pounds of garbage going to our landfill. And so that was in our very first year that it was implemented and done. So you can see the value of the recycling program on our landfill. Um, if, if everybody was to use them, um, we would have 200 years of landfill space. Um, if everybody quit using them, we're more in the neighborhood of 100, 125. It just all depends on growth and, and uh, the variable of who's using it, how many people are using it and how many are not. Not only does recycling improve our footprint into the future, but it's good for the environment. Recycling is important for several reasons. It's, it's being good stewards of our land, uh, for one. Um, trying to, to reuse the, the products that we already are using in, in the recycling program. Uh, the other thing it does is it, uh, using recycled product, uses about 60% less water to, to use that product. Um, and then it does extend the life of the landfill, which are very, very expensive, um, especially to replace. If we can have less garbage going to our landfill, it's going to keep our costs down, it's going to extend the life of the landfill, it's going to help the environment, it's going to help with pollution, air, air pollution, water pollution, the whole aspect of it. The best way to do it is, is to minimize our footprint of, of reusing your, your sacks you know, trying to reduce your footprint on the environment to, to just help in, in general. And that will also help keep costs down. When curbside recycling is in place, the district finds that more people do recycle. They say it's a small price to pay to be able to recycle. It, it really is a small price to pay. I mean, you could break it down into to coffees, hamburgers, and it's not that much. Uh, one hamburger, maybe two and one latte, really, um, per month is what you might sacrifice to be able to do this. McDonald said the solid waste district would need to lose about 21,000 households in order to drop out of Tier 1. Last time, about 10,000 people opted out. He encourages people to check out the benefits of recycling. So we have the, our, our own website just specific to recycling. It's called bluecan.org and it has videos showing you how our, our uh, products that leave here um, are recycled, sorted, uh, and then they're bundled and then sold off to, to uh, vendors from there. St. George currently has about 77% participation of around 36,000 eligible residential garbage customers. McDonald believes it's all about being good stewards of what we have. That whole being good stewards is, I, is something we all need to, to think of and uh, not just for us, it's for our children, our grandchildren and beyond. And despite what you might think, garbage costs to recycle here are far below what others pay. Um, and we are the lowest in the state. Even with, with recycling in, included, we are hands down the lowest in the state. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.